What's going on guys? Just got out here to keep it scan. It's been too long. Haven't been able to saltwater fish for a while, but we're gonna see if we can pick up some nice fish, make a nice little video. Got my wife with me today. Picked up some nice baits this morning. Got a bunch of crab boats working around us, so I'm not sure if that's gonna create a, a negative or positive effect, but we're gonna hit this area for a little bit and then transition into a little deeper water probably. There's, there's not a lot of current, so. We'll probably hit this for a little while and then move out into like 150, see if we can find some more current. Stay tuned. Feels like something small, but got tight. Probably yellow tail. I think I have a coral snapper. Yeah. It's a remora. Not what we wanted, but it's a fish. The guy came up to me while we were out here in Key Biscayne. Says he lives in Naples, but he's out here with his boat fishing today. Small world. Says he watches the channel. Hooking him up with some live baits. He got plenty of them. So whenever you see a, a buddy, you know, a fisherman kind of struggling, needs some live bait, just try to hook him up. Hey, buddy in the 23 contender. Came by, gave me a little bit of luck. Babe, you see this video, man. You told me you watched my channel. Leave a comment, say it was you, buddy. And thanks for watching. Nice tail. Nice. This one's for you. Let's go, hooked up again. That's a mutton right there. That's a mutton fight. That's a good one too. I mean, I'm using my small rod today because my Shimano is getting a service done on it. Got the little Okuma with a little mini star uh, jigging rod, little 5.5 five or 5.6. Five oh, I think I just got sharked. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, I think I just got sharked, man. Damn, that was a good fish. Try to get some life going behind the boat. It's been a little bit slow. Got a flat line out, got two bottom rods out. I might even put a fourth line out. Middle of the water column or something like that. All right, just sit up on the flat line, so you always have to have a flat line out. Cole's got the gaff ready. I'm hoping it's a uh, kingfish. It might be a cobia, we never know. It's got some really good weight to it. What's in the front? Back. Oh, here he comes. Hook him, hook him, hook him. I 
Spanish and the king fish. That's a nice Spanish mac. First short of the day. At least we're getting hit now. Whenever these smaller mutton come up from the depth, they always have a little blown up air bladder in their stomach. You can buy a venting tool or a small needle. You put the little fin to the side here, right where the fin hits the body, you can put a little incision right here and it'll help clear their airway. That releases all the air from them, and then they'll be able to swim down to the bottom. They won't just die on the surface. Straight to the bottom. Sometimes things get slow. I like to just put my thing in the rod holder, turn my clicker on, check my drag. That way I know that the fish can take the line freely but still get tight. Circle hook will do its job. up and got like a little burst in there so I wanted to fix it. It was really deep in the line pool. So I let all my line back out, sacrificed the fish, ended up bringing the fish up though. Muttons they throw up on you too. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and reset, see if we can pick something up. I don't go nowhere. That part is you see bait everywhere, Jonathan. I just saw some lots of stuff. What are you trying to kick me while I'm down? No, I'm just saying like what the fuck? Can't pick up a fucking fish. That throw up on me and shit. See what I do for you guys on the channel. Let's go, boo! Been quiet today in that corner. Take it easy on him. Okay. Nice dip. 
Nice. Kingfish. A little kingfish, not big, but it's been pretty, pretty slow today, so we'll take what we can get. hooked up to a huge either kingfish or barracuda. I mean, it jumped out of the water like a tarpon. I didn't have the camera on right when he jumped, but... Holy shit! Look at the size of this freaking cuda, man. Look at that circle hook. Miracle that I caught that thing on 30 pound. Oh. I'm sure those divers are happy you took this thing out of the water. Well, he's going right back in, so I'm not gonna eat him, I'm not gonna kill him. That is a good cuda, man. People say it's great meat and all. The size of that beast. Hey guys, I appreciate you tuning in. It was a pretty slow day, but we did pick up a few things for the box. Got two kingfish. We got uh, two Spanish mackerels. We got two yellowtails. Caught probably like six muttons today. All of them were under 18 inches, unfortunately. Bounced around from different ledges. Uh, hit all the county wreck. Set up really long drifts to the north. Had the Minn Kota just aiming on like speed one or two just to keep us kind of straight. And um, overall a decent day. I had two guys come out here randomly to me today on the Rex and just say what's up. We watched your channel. That was pretty cool, man. Um, gave him some fresh bait to one of them. The other one was doing some vertical jigging. I believe his name was Kevin. The other guy's name was Roger. Um, but I appreciate you guys coming by, man, and just saying what's up. It's pretty cool to have people out here fishing and just recognize my boat and come say what's up. So that was pretty neat. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and, and share this video with any of your buddies that like to fish. Just trying to grow the channel, so I appreciate all the support. I'm gonna keep making videos as much as I can. I shoot for like once a week. Can't always get that done, but I'm um, just trying my best. If you have any questions, leave a comment. I'll try to get back to all of them and um, stay tuned for the next episode. We gone.